Uh oh, it's episode two mm-hmm. commentary. The sweary language. Hey, this episode. one's got bad language in it. Oh, we need to introduce ourselves again. Yeah. Oh, hi, I'm Rob. Uh, uh, that's me. Um, I'm the director <laughs> and writer. Vampires one of the producers. And, uh, I'm Steve. I'm Tad over there and one of the producers. Really just a jump I'm Tanya. I play well, Bunny and I'm also a producer. Can you imagine vampire zombie werewolves? Uh, we, we should actually make vampire zombie werewolves singing telegram. Yeah. It, if it hasn't been obvious by Zombie DMV, us joking about zombie singing telegram here sort of gets you gets you the idea that we're making fun of this genre, by the way. A little bit, yeah. I think vampires working for the UPS would be funny. I think that uh, we came up with... Uh, I don't know how, but... We came up with a crap load. Well, I'll say fuck load, because we have the, the warning there at the beginning. <laughs> we can swear um, in the commentary. We have a, a ton, a ton of uh, fake vampire shows that we came up with. This gum business, the gum business came into the show because we had a chance to pitch Trident on this show, and they didn't like our idea. We, we put the gum into the show, and we thought it would be a great idea, and we kept it, even though Trident turned us down. It, well, it did turn out to be a good idea. Yeah. But and you'll, you'll get it later they know. as they the wanted, show progresses. They wanted something that happened at backstage at the streamies, I guess. We'll talk more about the gum later. Look at this night sky. Look at that moon. Look at that fog that I put in in After Effects. I put in that hitting of the teeth in After Effects. <laughs> I didn't this is, uh, Steve actually hit his own teeth. I, I did hit my own teeth. And this is the lovely John Monastero. We're so glad we got to have him in the show. Yes. He yeah. for a bit. He was fantastic. He's That's part really of him howling. <laughs> yeah, that oh, really that is, is him. Yeah. That is really him howling, yeah. <laughs> He came prepared. Yes. <laughs> He's part of a group called Ten West here in LA, and if you ever get a chance to see him live, they're fantastic. Oh, yes. Incidentally, you'll see it's a two-person group, and you will see his partner in that group later on in the show. Yeah. How about that? Because I'm a werewolf. This whole idea that people are still werewolves when the moon isn't full is awesome. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen this before, and it makes me laugh. Well, no, because usually they're just human. Mm-hmm. Until the full you, moon. If you get bit by a human who's a werewolf, I think this. Well, because it's it's like it's like herpes. Okay, mm-hmm. you can possibly get herpes when somebody's not having an outbreak. Exactly. Right? So this is like a non-werewolf outbreak. That it's still contagious. Mm-hmm. You just have to be careful, especially if you have open wounds like that. And this whole little bit he does is All improvised. Yeah. yeah, he improvises. We bit. have a bunch of this, actually. Yeah, we do a have a bunch of his improvisations. <laughs> Maybe it'll make it on the DVD. And I know it looks like I'm trying not to laugh, but I swear to God, I swear that's you me trying are to trying act. not to laugh. <laughs> you are trying <laughs> you know? not to laugh. <laughs> so we're for the Moors here. In case you're wondering, we're in Laura's backyard. Our Laura. friend Laura. Who you Laura may know is, is Lou. She was Lou in our Life old show. Inside. And she, um, look at that, whoop. Woo! Um, and she will be in this show later on. But we're in her backyard, so where that sky is with the stars and stuff, that's actually a wall back there. Yeah, so really there's nothing real in this scene at all. No, and if you, if you want to, if you want to do an experiment, you can put this on your computer and crank up the exposure, and you will see <laughs> all the, the wall. What you're missing. <laughs> Oh, we have to talk about Jeff. Here's Jeff. Uh, I actually work with Jeff at Disney, <laughs> and I didn't know he was an actor. <laughs> I don't know how. He's amazing. Yeah, he was fantastic in our last episode. Well, our currently last episode of Life from the Inside. But he's. Uh, he's we really are also hilarious. very happy to work with him. Well, it's funny too because he's got such a great voice. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, and thanks to my awesome boom operation, <laughs> he sounds a little like he's in some kind of voiceover studio. If you ever want to hear Rob go on and on about something, ask him about <laughs> ask, him, his, ask me about how good his, I am at a boom. Yeah, yeah. But I and didn't do And how bad the, everybody else is. <laughs> no, we won't talk about how bad everybody else is, but I didn't do the booming. Speaking of how bad everybody else is, I didn't boom the rest of this show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so earnest. Our friend so Jeff, obviously our friend the, Jeff uh, Daly did the rest of the booming. Things were yes, for the next few years. he did. Oh, gross. That was made by that's, our friend Stephen Moore. But that's anyway, Lekowitz's actual hair. <laughs> it is actually it's from my head. My hair was really long for Life from the Inside. I got it cut. And we put that hair into that little latex blob or whatever it is. We yeah. all got it cut. All we, three of we us. All went, we had a pizza, beer, and hair cutting night one night. <laughs> Go to the same and hairstyle. And as lame as that sound, it was kind of fun. It was really fun. <laughs> I think you can see pictures on the website of that. Are those I think, up? The I don't beer? know. Oh, I haven't put them up yet. We'll put them up. Oh, and this is my 80s music. You for... look so expecting. 
That's a that's a Batman esque logo. I I'm pretty sure <laughs> yeah, that's not that's actual true. copyrighted uh, that's not material. Really, uh, <laughs> it's been altered slightly. <laughs> this is also Laura's house. I we should point out. This is yeah. This is Laura's house. I don't think a lot of people have been getting that this goes through the era. So it's 50s with the werewolf, 60s with the zombie, and 80s with Bunny's conversion. Yes. Right. And Although uh, they and should get it by this outfit. You would think. <laughs> She's like Madonna if Madonna was a whore. Like a vampire. Hey. Oh, wait. Madonna is a whore. <laughs> um, if Madonna was rabid. I'm glad people by could see the animals. bites. I was really worried that the bites weren't going to show up well. I enough. think that's one of the creepiest moments in the show right there. Is <laughs> She's Bunny Bunny's being a okay creepy. with having been sort of bite raped by her? <laughs> He's, Three men. You can't. You can't say bite raped. <laughs> it's the naughty language episode. <laughs> Shit! I'm just gonna say it because I can. <laughs> Hope there's no kids listening to this commentary. <laughs> My swear word was way. Like, no, yours is almost uh, sayable now on television. I've got a rough title sequence already made. A rough title sequence. Rough title I would love sequence. to see that. I wonder if we're gonna see the rough title <laughs> I sequence. I would like something. to see the whole thing. <laughs> That's another thing we're hoping. People will go back and watch the show and realize that we set up almost everything. We pretty much tell you what we're going to do before we do everything. Um, and I like this music. It does sound like, why does everything I write sound like it should be in some kind of Agatha Christie <laughs> mystery? I don't know what the deal is. I did it's watch a lot fitting. of. I did watch a lot of Miss Marple when I was a kid. <laughs> I was more of a Hercule Poirot fan. I don't like Poirot. He's kind of I a love jerk. Poirot. He is a jerk. That's like what I like about Sherlock him. Holmes. Isn't Sherlock Holmes a jerk? Yeah, yeah and that's why I like. That's why I like Miss Marple. Sherlock Holmes is also a drug addict, though. So. Yeah, he was. Yeah, it's true. Miss <laughs> Marple <laughs> wasn't a drug addict. No, she wasn't. She, she, she was a churchgoer. She was a churchgoer, but she was a little like uh, Columbo. The fact that she was the bumbling sleuth. I think I think we should be done now. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're right. done. That's well, thanks for listening thanks for to listening. episode two commentary. You read more Agatha Christie. <laughs> no, Sherlock Holmes. No, wait wait for a noir detective now. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>